Hi, welcome to another video from thiskindofgirl.com. Please subscribe to my channel, check me out on social media, and visit thiskindofgirl.com for all the very best smart, sexy, swinger know-how. As promised, today I am talking about how to start swinging. However, I feel that this is such a huge topic to cover, and it's one that I get a lot of questions on, I feel it deserves a really in-depth answer. So this will just be one of many videos on how you can start swinging. So in this video, you will be learning how to start swinging, why honesty is the best policy. I'll be talking about two swingers and their experience, and also watch to the end when I will be sharing with you how you can get started in swinging if you are a single person. So, first up, how to get started swinging. The fact that you're listening to this is already a really good sign. You are well on your way to becoming smart, sexy swingers. So, how to start swinging. Grab your partner and listen to this together so the knowledge of what you learn is shared between you both. Alternatively, share this site with them and get them to listen to it and then talk about it together. It's really important to remember that swinging isn't just something that married middle-aged couples do to keep the fire burning. Over the years, I've met all kinds of people with different sexual identities, fetishes, sexualities, ages and ideas about how they like to get down. The world is a wonderfully colourful place and swinging is something that can be enjoyed by all. All you need to do is bring to the table an open mind. So, honesty is the best policy. Perhaps you've had a threesome or are bisexual or perhaps your partner is or maybe you're none of the above and you're curious. Whatever the situation, there's only one way to go. Honesty is the best policy. As soon as the swinging question is raised, immediately you become flooded with worries, doubts and concerns. But don't worry, this is completely normal. Don't punish your partner for not clapping their hands together enthusiastically. It's a big step. These kind of conversations are difficult to have. But once you've had it, you've done the hardest part. When you start talking about swinging, you can suddenly become anxious, worried, scared, and you respond in the only way that comes naturally. You cling to your relationship and thus quash all thoughts of sharing your partner with another person. You are suddenly afraid. If they have sex with someone else, they might leave me for someone else. What if he gives his love away? I'm not doing what you think. It's far too risky. I'll keep my romance just the way it is. Thank you very much. Now, one of the best places to start swinging from if you're in a relationship is being in love. If you head to my site and look at how to start swinging, you will see a huge post on the science behind what exactly love is. I'm not going to share that with you on this video because I feel it might just be too much overload so I'm advising you to head to my site thiskindofgirl.com and search for how to start swinging when you will see it all in detail. So once we are emotionally invested in someone and they in us which is love you come from a place of trust honesty and mutual respect. Responding to the idea of swinging in an anxious way is completely 100% normal. Does it mean you can't explore the lifestyle? No. Does it mean you're clingy and obsessive? No. What it does mean is that you're human and you have found a good thing in your partner. Of course you want to hold on tight. This person's a catch. Accepting these feelings is the first step. But how do we move on from these anxious feelings? When we are emotionally invested in a person, chances are we share their values, we respect them. We share our hopes, our dreams and our fears together. 
We let that person see us at our best and at our worst. They accept those weird habits you have, embrace you in all your glory. For me, this is what being in a relationship is, having a truly emotional connection. This person has your back no matter what is happening, they have got you. With them, you have an intimate sexual connection. You do that thing that would be too risky to do with a couple at a party or someone you don't know too well. Sex is incredibly important in a relationship and intimate sex is separate from swinging sex. In order to swing successfully, separate the love and emotion, intimate attachment from swinging sex and you have the winning formula. So, just to go over that point again, in order to swing successfully, you have to separate the love and emotion and intimate attachment from the swinging sex and you have the winning formula. So everything that you have in your private life with your one person remains private. Everything that you do in a swinging club with other couples or other singles is just a great aid to your already existing fantastic sex life and life together and if you can separate these then you are well on your way now i want to give you an example of a couple please meet sarah and we'll call him bob sarah and bob have been together for three years they live together they have great intimate sex they enjoy their life of exotic holidays, good restaurants and expensive bottles of wine. They both love keeping fit, are successful in their careers and they know everything about one another. They are wrapped up in one another's worlds, they have pet names, they have seen each other at their worst and cared for each other when they are sick, drunk and hysterical. They are a strong couple. Sarah and Bob know each other inside out. They are intimate, open and honest. When they attend a swingers party, Sarah knows that although Bob may be having sex with a woman, let's call her Sharon, this sex is simply an added extra in their already incredibly intimate life. This goes back to what I was just saying about it's separate, okay? Sarah is having sex with Paul, who again is a great added bonus but works as an accountant, which Sarah would find tiresome to listen to day after day. Paul is married to Sharon and they have two kids and in no way would Sarah trade places with Sharon. Is Sarah going to leave the party with Paul? No. Is Bob going to leave the party with Sharon? No. Why? Because they are not emotionally invested in Paul and Sharon. They are simply enjoying the sexy experience with them. Do you see why being in love is a great place to start? Being in love secures the bonds that I believe are imperative to being a smart swinging couple. Would Sharon be interested in Bob's passion for collecting orchids? No! Would Sarah? Hell yeah, she loves orchids. When you separate swinging sex from real emotion connection and the really intimate sexy acts you do with one another, sometimes they're not safe to do without protection, all of a sudden you're on your first step to becoming smart swingers. But what if you're a single person? If you're a single person, then chances are you may have the same concerns. What if a couple has issues with me? What if they think I'm gonna run off with their husband or wife? Make it clear before anything intimate has happened, you're very comfortable in your life right now, you're not after a relationship, and you are simply looking to gain new sexual experiences. You enjoy meeting open-minded individuals and want to explore in a safe, comfortable way. Your personal life is something that you'd rather keep separate, thanks. This sends a clear message. It says, I'm kinky and I have my stuff together. I don't need anyone else. I'm independent. My personal life is private and I wish to keep it that way. So have the conversation, be honest, be open. And if you need any more advice, get in touch. I'm incredibly happy to help. Chances are once you've decided to 
dip your toe in, more and more questions will come flooding in. But luckily, that's where I come in to help you be a smart, sexy swinger. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my site and do check out the post on how to start swinging as you will find a lot more in-depth information. Thank you very much and I shall see you next time.